What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Okay, guys, got a cool one for you today. It won't be too long. Um, this is from the site Planetary Society. Now, they just had a... Um, check this out. This is pretty cool. They just had a year of VMC Mars images. Um, when you look at this, now my assumption is because it's 12, you know, you got January through December here at the bottom right. This in the middle and this one here in the middle would be June and July. At least that's, at least it's a safe bet. Anyway, several images of Mars taken through 2014 by the Low Resolution Visual Monitoring Camera, or the VMC, sometimes called the Mars Webcam, uh, aboard the Mars Express spacecraft. And of course, you've got ESA, Mars Express, blah. And it's saying composite. But you know how they like to use tricky words to say, oh, it's just bits and pieces of something, or is it something else? Uh, no. I believe these are the real pictures to a certain extent. I think that these have been modified. Now, I'm going to show you that right now because I can show you right now that this is BS. I'm going to show you, and this is a good example. Okay, this picture is pretty much, uh, I'm trying to simulate like what they're showing of Mars. Of course, it's not exact. But when you really look at this picture, let's go step by step backwards. It's really a desert here on Earth in Saudi Arabia. So... I can easily do that and turn everything brown and make it look like, oh, yeah, there's no oceans here. It's absolute crap. But you can see that, look, I can just go, oh, yeah, this is just a flat piece of land and this is more mountainous, uh, uh, you know, more mountains and everything else and ridges and everything else. You would never know the difference. But there it is. Um, and that you can find right here because this is actually a pretty cool site. It actually shows, it says, what percentage of Earth's land surface is desert? And if it's 29% water 71 percent i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry <laughs> i had it backwards 71 percent is oceans and 29 is for you know for uh land um and of course it varies because they say anything and you can see it what does it say it uh this might be it might saying like a surprisingly large amount but that's based on the official uh, def definition of desert like it says if it has a, a a drought in a particular area for long periods of time that could be a desert so it could change percentage you know with with no problem at all um anyway so again it's on your uh of VMC Mars images and when you go to here and I'm going to show you guys something it's so easy to do oh my god this is not the planet okay this is a blue planet like here on earth and I'm going to show you how I did this look at just a list of things right here and you can see where nowhere does it say I added color and I'm going to show you this right now auto color now a lot of people will laugh and go oh he's using an auto color and uh, of course it's going to show that no why was why wouldn't it just show pink brown and green and why wouldn't it show something else um, and I don't believe for a moment that these cameras strictly take pictures of just certain, uh, frequencies of color. I think they're using regular standard cameras, of course, a lot more high tech than what they're saying. In other words, they could take an actual picture of anything and then just disguise the color. Now, brightness and contrast, imagine that. It's not all brown, is it? Brightness and contrast. And you can see this just by zooming in. We can just, you can see on this planet, it's not all brown. It's not a red planet. They probably have a certain amount of deserts like we do. Where's all the desert here on this one? Okay, more brown right here. Right here. But you can see there's a bunch of other either oceans, different land masses, maybe green areas. You can see that this is not a strictly a red planet. Now, shadows and, and highlights, just so I could try to do a balance... And try to bring up the blacker areas, meaning you can see where it goes from, like it's darker here, and then super light on the edges here. Well, I'm trying to balance that. So what you do is you try to bring down the brightness and bring up the darkness. That's all I did here, nothing more. And brightness and contrast again. So I'll bring down the brightness so it isn't super bright on the edges here. And just bring down some of the, the color. And just a slight blur, and there you go. Here's your real planet right here. There's the planet. And this is what I come up with. When I first did these levels, and I'm going to show you this right here, one, and you can see them. Now, if you notice, it's a lot more greener, or at least it has different colors, better colors than in the um, in, in, in June and July. And of course, they're trying to show you more desert, so you go, oh yeah, it's all a desert planet, or it's just con completely dead. It's not. Look at this. It's It's simply not. Okay, next. I'll let you guys see these. Like I said, and then here's the planet. Here's Mars right here. This one here I find intriguing because there's your, uh, your polar cap. This right here tells all, man. 
there is this is not a dead just a red planet and just to make sure because some of these people will go well that's because you're using photoshop so yeah you're lying okay let me go to this here is i'm going to back off just so you can see this go to google hubble picture of mars what does this area here n s s d c photo gallery mars and it's from nasa.gov okay look at this and it just is basically three pictures showing the different uh areas and it shows right here global images taken by the wide field planetary camera 2 on the hubble space telescope the top image is of valles marineris which you guys know it looks like that giant um like the equivalent to uh our grand canyon only a whole lot larger um I think I, I think they said you can actually put the United States in Valles Marineris. So um, it's centered on roughly 60 degrees longitude. All right, the middle image is Tharsis region, centered roughly 160 degrees uh, longitude. And the bottom image is of uh, Sirtis, I guess it's called, uh, major region, centered on roughly 270 degrees longitude. These three images are individual frames from one press release photograph. So, you know, here you go. You know, it doesn't look like a fully red planet to me, guys. I mean, and this is from, this is from NASA. It's, it shows it. I mean, it's, you know, uh, let me see. I think this is going to show the can. All right, Mars at opposition. Okay. Uh, views provide a detailed global coverage of the red planet. I like the way they say that. Look at <laughs> these NASA Hubble Space Telescope views provide the most detailed, complete global coverage of the red planet. Um... I'm not seeing a fully red planet. I'm seeing this here. But anyway, you can see when it was released, March 21st, 1995. Um, and it tells you about these different uh, Marineras, Valles Marineras regions, so on and so forth. It tells you the three regions I just told you. Um, and there you go. Now, why does it portray it this way sometimes? And there's your Valles Marineras, which is right here. Um, and then all of a sudden it shows this. This is on their site, guys. Come on. And I don't know about you guys. When I look at this, I'm seeing green. Look at it all. And in fact, I'll zoom in even more. I'm seeing a lot of green down here, guys. And browns and everything else. Like this forest, mountainsides, deserts, oceans. Well, it's hard to tell if that's an ocean or not, but you get the idea. So I don't know, guys. You know, like I said, I don't want to make this a real long one. But there's your real planet right there. There it is. It's not a, just a super red planet. It has deserts, just like we do here on Earth. And like I said, I just, you know, just try to make it kind of look sort of like that, you know, right there. Yep, try to make it look like, but there's the real picture. And you can see that there's oceans and everything. It's easy to disguise it. So, yeah, there you go. There's the real deal right there. And like I said, this one on here on the right... This proves without a doubt that this is not just a red planet. It is just like Earth as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion. And like I said, you can't say I'm just making this stuff up. I just showed you straight from NASA and Hubble pictures that it looks... What does it look like? There you go. And I'm, I'm going to do this for you guys. Let me just back out. Good. Hubble pictures of Mars. I mean, here you go. Pick one. You know, here's another. Mars, and this is telling you the region, uh, the major actually, but it's that region, uh, 1997 Hubble Space Telescope. You know, of course, it's the and this is the Enterprise mission. That's what do you call it, Hoagland's uh, site. And there you go. But he, here you go. Different space telescope dot org. Um, uh, you guys tell me. I'm confused. And that says you can see it right there. What does it say right there? Mars Essa. You tell me. Anyway, guys, like I said, I didn't want to make this super long. I did want to tell you this was just a cool picture. When you see this, I wanted you guys to see the real deal, man. And it would not surprise me if there's 1,000% either there's still life on this planet or it isn't. But I believe it was a lot like Earth. And I mean, you know, they say, well, it was probably like a, a lot like Earth, you know, millions upon millions upon millions. I don't believe so. This is it right here. And I think it's still a lot like Earth. I don't think it's much different from what we are today. And there you go. Anyway, guys, not going to take up too much of your time. Just want to do a quick one for you guys and just show you that. I thought it was pretty cool. And I just wanted to reiterate because I have done this before about Mars actually being a planet just like Earth and how they're just lying, blatantly lying to us. And I showed you. It, it's like contradictive. You could look at their site and it says, you know, Mars and it's Hubble. 
and it shows one it's a completely brown planet and then you've got blue all different colors in it so which one is it is it because it's more of the uh different seasons because obviously you're going to change you're going to have more greenery if you were to look at my area right now uh, in the middle of the country, you would see more browns and everything else. In the summer times, you're going to see a lot more green. So, yeah, it's going to change, you know, for here. But they, the way they show it, it's completely drastic. Come on. But anyway, I thought you guys would like that. It's pretty cool. I like that. And I, I know that's 1,000%. That's the real planet. It is not a fully red, brownish planet. Anyway, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you'd think. And then, you know, whether you, you believe that's, that is true or it's not. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, share the video. I mean, it's a short one, but share it anyway. Let people know, hey, guys, here's the real deal right here. Anyway, guys, got some interesting coming up uh, videos coming up for you guys. Uh, stick with me on that, and uh, I'll see you then.